Good morning guys, welcome to another day. This is our last full day in Orlando. We are in the car heading on a road trip to the Cape. Is that what it's called? I don't want to get my names wrong. Where are we going? Um, Cocoa Beach really. We're going to Cocoa Beach. Um, we're going to the area around the Space Centre because we're going to go and watch a rocket launch. Um, yeah, fingers crossed. A SpaceX rocket is supposed to be um, launching. Yep. Is that what we say? Taking off? Launching. Is that the right? Launching at about half ten. Yes, I am an amateur because I don't know space. Space is not my thing. Disney is my thing. Um, so that is where we're heading now. It's about an hour's drive away from our hotel, so we've got about 40 minutes to go. It's currently 8 o'clock in the morning. We are going quite early just so we can try and get a parking position. Um, sort of friends of friends of ours actually work for SpaceX and gave us some top tips of where to go and what to, where to stand and told us a bit more about the launch and things and the actual date it was going ahead before we even it was properly advertised so that was a great top tip so that's where we're heading now we've got our Dunkin Donuts coffee I didn't get a donut though um, but we will take you with us and show you what we can show you how much of the launch we can film because it'll be like this big from the distance um, we'll see but we'll take you around the Cocoa Beach area and see what we see Port Canaveral. Over there we can see some cruise ships in that direction. You can see Kennedy Space Centre and the Shuttle Assembly Building. So we are here, we have arrived at a place called Jetty Park which is just next to Port Canaveral. There are certainly worse places to be on a Thursday morning. <laughs> just look at that. How beautiful is that? So over that's Port Canaveral over there and this is where the cruise ships come out. Now I've been told that the rocket launches from behind the hill and then lands somewhere over there. Lots of fishing going on, lots of birds over there so there must be something to eat on the beach. There's loads of people on the um, pier fishing. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a turtle in the water. So that boat there, I've been told by David, is part of the recovery vessel. Picks up the dragon capsule. It's very busy on the pier right now. We're all waiting. Apparently, it's due to launch in about eight minutes. Are you looking forward to your sonic boom? Yeah, the excitement is intangible. Do about five seconds. And there was our final go for launch today from our launch director. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ignition and lift off.
short this time. It is so bright. It's going to hurt you on stage. People are just hang with hands in here. Nice, the first person that sees it. Yeah. This is not a space expert vlog. This is just a complete novice watching it. We're all looking up in the sky to see if we can see it returning. <laughs> there we can see the east coast of Florida. Stage two on the nominal trajectory. Space coast there in the background of um, on the left hand side. Gone. Somewhere here. <laughs> okay. And we still can't see it. Stage one entry burn startup. And there on your screen, we can see that that entry burn has begun. Once again, this burn is designed to slow the booster down as it returns through the dense part of the atmosphere. No, re entry. Right here. Straight up. Woo hoo! It's gonna go dark here. What is this thing doing? I'm gonna send it to my phone. It kind of is falling over. It's dark. I'm gonna go out of here. I got it too. Have a walk. Yeah, go down. Oh, wait. Okay. Oh, wait. Gone. Yeah. What is this there. thing they're bringing on right here? Oh, I don't know. Yeah. Oh, definitely see it now. Oh, yeah, there it is. Yeah, that, that was it's it's oh, oh, yeah. Oh. oh, here it is right here. Yeah. Oh. Go ahead. Sonic Boom.
successfully landed this Falcon 9 for the 10th time. And there's the recovery ship. This definitely beats a day in the park. I would love to live here. <laughs> this is incredible. <laughs> Sun is gorgeous. So that is the pier and jetty we've stood on before. You can see all the SpaceX chips out there. How amazing is this place? If you want a day away from the parks, definitely come to the beach for a bit. Because it's just sort of like clears the soul. It's fantastic. Don't see many people out there swimming, but there's a couple of people on surfboards and paddle boards. Gonna have a walk down the sea. I might even put my feet in. Oh that's chilly. <laughs> That's why there's not many people swimming in it. You're alright once you get used to it. Yeah, it's the same kind of Fancy swim. Fancy swim. It's nice now, but you still that oh. nice black shell. That's a strange thing. Quite nice big waves out there. It's a bit furry. Oh, I'm not sure what a furry one. The kids would love to play in those waves. But it does go a little bit chilly when that sun goes in. But I can't say anything because there's barely a cloud in the sky over there. Just a few out to see. So we're still just having a walk down the beach, um, heading back towards the jetty park now. Gonna go and find some lunch. We're thinking of heading to Coco Beach and seeing what there is up there, but it's beautiful here. It's, yeah. I wanna live by the sea. <laughs> I say this to David every time we come, come to a beach. It's my life's goal to live by the sea. So we've just parked up at Coco Beach. We've managed to find a parking space where it's got a pay meter. I think actually get the full pier itself is £10 parking for the whole day. What's that, sorry, $10 parking, sorry. Um, which isn't too bad, but we're only going for a, possibly a quick drink and a, a snack maybe. Let's see what's on the menu down here. Let's get to another part of the beach. That looks like my type of shop. So we are on Coco Beach Pier and this is the view right now. So over there is where we were this morning. There's some people surfing. The beach, the clouds are rolling in a bit so I'm quite concerned that we're going to get absolutely drenched. So I'll hide underneath an umbrella. You're a bit scared. Got an umbrella, we're fine. Yeah. I'm not sure we're up to with the margarita count, but cheers. I'm gonna drink this and probably more of them just to help me with the rain because it's now raining. So that's why it does in Florida. That's good. Dinner has arrived, and how amazing does this look? Oh my god, I got the shrimp roll and these fries just look incredible. I was talking to this, David's got a chicken sandwich. I can confirm they are very good. Oh, they're so good. Right, I'm gonna eat this and come back to you. Dinner was Amazing. Oh, it was so lovely. It cost us about $43. So that's for two sort of entrees. David had a Coke or a Pepsi and I had a margarita. Um, 
so about the same price as everywhere else really I'm just trying to run back to the car now because we only got an hour of for parking so we did, didn't actually think we were going to be eating but the food did look incredible which it was <laughs> we tried going a shortcut down the main road but then the path kind of ran out so we didn't know if we could actually walk down there without getting arrested for jaywalking so we we're back on the beach bit of a long way around and <laughs> trying to get back to the car so we only put, put an hour on it we are five minutes late already David's run out on ahead so I'm struggling to walk on the sand especially while I'm vlogging so I probably need to stop vlogging and go back to the car being back home I've got my own little corner that I like to vlog in at home it's the kitchen here is this little doorway nice light in here though anyway it's been a while since I picked up the camera I think we hadn't vlogged in since we left Cocoa Beach that dinner was amazing it was so nice sitting by the beach and having that margarita um, it's a considerable number of hours later we're looking pretty had a shower um, we went for a swim when we got home, so we went to Target. The food's not bad, and we got sort of picked up some peanut M and M's and all sorts of bits like a few bits like that. Um, the Disney stuff wasn't great. I don't know if we picked the wrong Target. The vibe I've got from this trip is the Walmart I've been to, the Target I've been to, and even Disney is they're running out of stuff. Lots and lots of empty shelves. Why are you laughing at me, Mr. Anderson? Were we not on Target? We weren't on Target now. Your jokes are really bad. That's why I'm in front of the camera and you're over there. Anyway, I digress. Um, so yeah, we went to Target, came back, had a swim, I've had a shower, I've been changed. I think I look a bit, I think I look all right. Okay, right. Got my Doc Martens on. The one thing I forgot to bring on this trip was a cardigan. I brought a hoodie, a Disney hoodie, I've not brought anything nice for an evening. So if you do come in winter, especially January, February, like December, that I would bring something in the evening if you wear anything nice. I meant to bring my cardigan, I thought I'd be fine, but I'm not. So I'm having to wear a Disney hoodie with this. It doesn't go when you look. Looking nice, it doesn't quite go. Um, packing, because we have to check out tomorrow. We're only here for one week, but we have to check out tomorrow. Packing's going okay. Current state of affairs. There's that one down there. All this stuff up there. Do you know when you think back, maybe I bought too much stuff. It's all the biscuits for the kids and the M&Ms for the family. That's what's taken up all the space. There's nothing else. We only bought, I only bought a couple of things for myself with a run Disney event and a cut of a t-shirt. Apart from that, I didn't really buy anything. Yeah, it's all the biscuits. Anyway, we are off to dinner now for our last night. We are going to Bahama Breeze. My choice, one of my favourites. Um, yeah, guess what we're having? More margaritas. Yay! I'm not quite sure what the margarita count's up to right now, but I don't care because I'm on my holly bobs. So come on, let's go to Bahama Breeze. And if you've not been, go check it out. We're just headed into Bahama Breeze. It was literally a five minute drive from our hotel. This is on International Drive. David wants to sit outside. He can think again, because it's chilly. The stars are out. Yeah, the stars are out because it's freezing. Uh, it's like being back at the Caribbean beach.
coming down here now that everything's Yeah, we're just allowed to go. November it opened, so not too bad. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, actually my family, uh, we're from overseas too because of COVID. We were just kind of stuck there for a month and we finally got back here. Oh, that's great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Lots to choose from with cocktails. It's got to be a margarita again though. And the menu is incredible. I'm not going to show it you all. I normally have the Jamaican jerk, jerk chicken pasta. It is amazing. It is that one. I vlogged after I got. Sorry, I had to eat it first. It's so nice. I've got the. Jamaican jerk pasta and David's got a chicken burger. These are both amazing. You don't want to see me eat though because I'm going to get into it now. I've literally been waiting for this dessert forever. This is a key lime pie. Look at how amazing this looks. And David has got a chocolate island which looks amazing too. So I ordered my second margarita. Wows, is it strong. Let's hope I sleep in today. Or oh, not sleep in, because we've got to check out in the morning. I am going to enjoy this dessert. Let's not tell Crazy Grandad though. She's his favourite dessert. So the bill came to $75.54, which has already come through on my account, and it's £56. 56 quid for a meal for two of us is a good thing. We have uh, two margaritas, we have one bottle of cider, two entrees, and this is a peach. I am so full, literally up to here full. A bit of confusion at the end. Yeah, David's like up to here full. A bit of confusion at the end of the desserts. We almost got dessert twice. <laughs> it's very confusing. We, we wanted us to take it home, but we literally can't eat any other thing and we'll be just be throwing it away. So they've gone back to the kitchen. Great meal here at the Bahama Breeze. If not been, we really, 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 really need to go. There's loads of them, it's a big chain. It's The food is exceptional and the service has been amazing. We had such a fantastic day and it was lovely getting out of Orlando and experiencing a different side to Florida. Watching the rocket launch was amazing. Bahama Breeze did not disappoint as always. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please give us a big thumbs up. Leave any comments down below. What do you love to do outside of Florida? And I'll see you again in the next one, which will be our last Florida vlog for this series.